welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be doing a video that's slightly different um that me and nathan have never done on our channel before and that's basically a makeup declutter now i've never done a makeup declutter um video before so i thought i should try it out also please like just ignore the bad quality of this video because i'm filming it on my ipad um my phone is currently here um i'm keeping like my phone out for work purposes so yeah so if it looks like i'm not looking at the camera because the camera's there and the screen's there please ignore that because at times i probably will start looking at the camera and then look at the screen and look at the camera. so please ignore where my eyes are going so i just got a plastic bag and under my ipad which my ipad is actually on i've just got my makeup drawers um so i think a few months ago i actually um emptied out my makeup i like threw out some makeup that i don't need but now i feel like i need to do that again even though i haven't brought any more makeup um just from looking at my makeup drawers i think actually do i really need that probably not um so yeah so i would show you my drawers but my ipad is on them i'll take the drawer out and show you what's in it so this first drawer is all my makeup brushes now i so i watch summer till she's a um youtuber and like a really good youtuber at that and she done a she uploaded a video yesterday of um these makeup brushes that she got from amazon they are so cheap and they are so good quality and i might have to get some myself because i'll show you what they look like they are honestly they are absolutely gorgeous and they're so affordable as well so they're not like rip off and it's so good so i'll try and get them out they're from amazon so let me just try and get them out so i don't know how you say the makeup brand it's like that's the makeup brand oh this is gonna like so that's the makeup brand there d-u-a-i-u <laughs> whatever that is um so this is one of the sets that she had so this is 9.99 for all of that and it comes with it comes with a facial razor as well like for like peach fuzz so that's really good and there's also this one for um seven pound 99 and it also comes with one of them silicone sponges which i actually have in here um i've never used it and then she didn't review this one but this is one that i found and it's like this one for seven pound 98 it has um it's got like eyebrow scissors it's got tweezers as well with like i don't know if you can see it yeah with like a little brush type thing at the end and it has um all of the brushes as well that you normally get in every pack so i'll put the link for them in the description if you're interested in looking at them but it's really not expensive at all like i really like amazon's products i'm just going to go through my makeup brushes now when i do makeup declu declutters i don't really chuck out makeup brushes purely because um i either really really need them or not and also please ignore the fact that i need to br wash my makeup brushes i probably washed these like last week and i will make up like once this week and it's already like they're already covered in foundation so please ignore the fact that they've got foundation on them but these are no these are probably like the best brushes i've ever had so i got these for christmas last year for my dad and they're the limited edition ones and this is these are, and please ignore my pomade brush as well <laughs> like I, i'm pretty sure even though i wash my pomade brush i'm pretty sure it's stained brown because it just doesn't seem to change or get cleaner so um so let's if you have like any tips on how to clean makeup brushes then please like give me advice because look at that like the only clean one that's there is my face mask brush so oh and a concealer brush is that one of them so this is what oh and along with this that I've, I've never actually used this like do you just i don't know how that's gonna blend out makeup anyway um so this is what the pack came like and i'm not chucking any of these out because i only had them since christmas last year 
and they are like the best quality brushes I've ever had um, along with a little silicone sponge that I've never used um, and then so I'm keeping them and then this one I might actually chuck out because it's an, like an old contour brush but the bristles are like it, yeah they come off so bin aka my plastic bag from the cupboard um and then wait let me just put this and then this this is an eco tool oh yeah this is a eco tools um brush so is this one and i don't ever use these so i'm probably just going to chuck them out because i literally don't use them nathan's messaged me hi um but yeah, I literally don't use them at all. Um, this one, I don't use either. That one, I don't even remember where this one's from. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then, I, right, I've had this for years. And I still don't know to this day what on earth this is. Um, I mean, is it a lip brush? Is it a concealer brush? I might keep this because this might come even though there's like long bristles coming off it i might keep this because you never know what it may be handy for like it could be good for lips i don't know i don't even wear lipstick i wear lip gloss but i don't really wear lipstick and then this is one of my real techniques brushes i'm definitely keeping that um because i use this when i have concealer on my under eyes and then i'm keeping these as well these are also real technique brushes um this is the point xxs brush real techniques by sam and mick nick and then i've got this one it's point xxxxs brush and then this one is the point xs brush i these came in a um collection my auntie actually got me these for my birthday last year these came in a collection, but I can't remember what the collection was called. And it came with a makeup brush stand as well. So if I remember or find them online, then I'll put the link in the description. But I can't rem exactly remember. Also, I'll also put the um, these makeup brushes in the description as well. Because they're good quality brushes. And then next... See, I've got this thing and I don't... Actually, I do use this sometimes. Do I chuck it? I'm going to keep that in case because I feel like I'm going to end up needing it one day. Again, I keep collecting these like little brushes and I have no clue where they're from. They're either from sets that I bought that I don't remember buying or I don't know. But I'll chuck that one out because I probably won't even use it. Oh, this is my concealer brush that I use to carve my eyebrows with. This, I don't even know what this is. Uh, um, But... I'm chucking that because that looks like it doesn't have much use. Oh, this is one of my eyeshadow brushes that I use. I actually bent it. I don't know if you can see that, but I actually bent it once. I think I sat on it or something and it bent because now this bit like comes off. <laughs> um, did I? And then, oh, why didn't I do this? I see... I, I'm <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I get brushes like this in every set that I get and I have no clue what it's for. Like it's either for lips, concealer, or oh no, nah, that's not an eyebrow brush. But yeah, I'm never gonna use that. And then here I've got another eyeshadow brush. I'll probably keep that actually. And then here Oh my god, I you I have been looking for this one. I didn't realise it was in the bottom with the drawer. Basically, it's like a double-ended brush, as you can tell. This is like a concealer brush, and this is an eyebrow brush for when you like carve your eyebrows and fill them in. So I'm gonna keep that because that can come in quite handy. And then this little brush is what I use to blend out if I'm doing like cut creases, um, which I very rarely do. Um, oh, this one looks a bit mangled. I don't even use brushes that are like that. Like, they're not even brushes, they're sponges. And they're coated in something. So, I'm chucking that out. And then this, this looks way too fat to be like... I don't even know what this one would be used for. I mean, like, they're sonic So, like, the dust just came off it. But I don't know what that would be used for. I'm going to chuck that out because I probably will never use it. And then, oh. Well, that brush has been a bit there's like a random bit pink of thread in the middle of it as well don't it like 
I'm sorry, the iPad quality is so bad. It's <laughs> so bad. So bad. Um, yeah, check them out. Um, this, oh, I've used this before. It's like a little, it's like, it's not little, but it's an eye shadow brush. And I use that to like blend out my eyeshadow. That's a bit manky, not gonna lie. They're a bit manky. And what the blooming hell is that? If that's for lips, I'm gonna have no like using that. So check that out. Because that really tickled. Because I, I don't. <laughs> I very, very, very rarely wear lipstick. I think the only times I've worn lipstick is if I'm trying a lipstick out or if I'm trying to make a good impression for going out to like for special occasions. But apart from that, I don't wear lipstick. I think I only wear lip gloss and lip balm. I don't really wear lipstick. So this is my next little drawer. Um so i'm gonna go through these lip balms first now this is so these are actually lip balms that nathan got me except from this one i can't i think my nan got me this one um but these are lip balms that nathan got me they smell really nice as well um so i'll show you the ones that, so there are other there are others to it but i think it's in my little makeup vanity case so these three lip balms i've got cola cubes i have got strawberry bonbons and i have got pear drops and they honestly they smell so nice oh i love it i love them they're good little lip balms as well and then um these two as well came in a set of three i'm gonna be totally honest with you i don't know where the third one is so sorry nathan um but there's a strawberry one and a mango one and these are from boots they have boots on them oh my god they smell so nice i i still use these lip balms funny enough I, I think the only reason why i put them in the store is because i know that i'm gonna use them um oh i love strawberry scented things anything that's strawberry scented love it and then here i've got <coughs> i haven't got corona by the way i ate a kit kat earlier and like a bit of chocolate i can still feel it so yeah um but here i've got a body shop lip balm lip butter it says on here but it's pretty much a lip balm oh my god i panicked then i was like why the hell is it like that but i realized it's because it's how it, it's fine it's fine if it wasn't fine i'd just chuck it out i feel like i need to be a bit more higher is that better because i feel really tiny now. okay and then here i've got an eyeliner i don't think i've ever used this i don't really wear eyeliner oh my god not even joking so a fun fact um i think it was like year seven through to like year nine i used to wear like eyeliner all the time I used to wear it on my waterline and I used to have, I used to do like a thick line just above my lash line. I thought it looked really nice. When I look back on it now, I'm like, oh my God, what the hell was you doing, Morgan? Why did you think that looked good? Because it didn't. Um, but this one, it has like two, it's by, uh, it's by Urban Beauty. I'm pretty sure this came in a kit or a set that my nan got me. Um, so it's got like a black eyeliner on this side and then it's got a grey one. I've never worn grey eyeliner, but I'm going to try it out. So I'm going to put that back in my box. And then I've got another eyeliner, which looks like it's been used by Sugar and Spice. I don't remember having any makeup by Sugar and Spice, but I'll keep it anyway. And then this is an eyebrow pencil which i i used a spoolie on it it's got blue and hair in it um sorry just reading notifications on my phone um so yeah i used a spoolie on it when i do my eyebrows and it's got a pencil on it as well i need sharpening big time but hey but. and then here i have got two mascaras uh this one is also by Ivan beauty so this these two so i'm pretty sure this if i remember rightly these actually came in a set that my nan got me i think i remember it now so i've got a really itchy ear 
basically fun fact yeah i got an ear infection right i had an ear rust don't know i've been on antibiotics since friday and i'm on them for a week today it is today it is wednesday the 10th of june right and it doesn't hurt it's just itchy but so i'm kind of hoping by friday the itchiness would go don't know how i got it anyway not the point this is a makeup declutter not a blimmin morgan's life story um but yeah so that's that mascara and then here i have the aqua lash waterproof mascara by primark with vitamin e now not even joking right I used to be so, so sceptical with Primark makeup because I had heard so much about it. Like, oh, yeah, they do dupes. Like, I know they do dupes. Like, I've seen a lot of palettes that they do that are exactly the same as, like, Huda Beauty or Urban Decay. So I know for a fact that they do dupes. But I was so, so sceptical at first. And now I actually really like some of their stuff. Um, so... I mean, like, you can't really complain with Primark makeup, but at the end of the day, like, I don't get, like, full face of makeup from Primark, like, so I don't get, like, foundation, eyeshadow, highlighter, bronzer, the full lot. I think the only thing I mainly get from Primark is just the mascaras, because I tend to get my, like, foundations from places like Boots and Superjug and online, so, actually, I don't, foundation, I don't really buy online, because, again, you never know what sort of shade and what isn't. Um, and then here I have got the Rimmel London Glam Eyes um, Liquid Eyeliner. I think I've, I haven't really worn this, but I'm going to keep it anyway because I feel like I could do, I don't know, with it. So, so that is that drawer. So I didn't actually need to chuck anything out from this one. So this is when the fun starts because now we're going into eyeshadow palettes. So... These are slightly bigger drawers. By the way, I can't actually, I can't really show you, but um, the drawers that I'm showing you, I'll also put in the link in the description. Put the link in the description. They are, if I can find them, I don't even know if they sell them anymore, but I got them from WH Smiths. So I don't know if it's just like a range they were doing or if they actually still sell them, but I'll try and find it. If I can't, then just completely scrap what i said about me putting it in the description okay so i'm keeping this without a doubt it's my urban decay cherry palette no way am i throwing that out same with this urban decay naked heat palette no way am i throwing that out and then here i've got a number seven eyeshadow palette never ever used it like i have never ever used it and will i use it probably not am i gonna keep it no because i'm never good at that so i don't know because it's a brand new rice you know i might just keep it for the time being see if i use it in the next three months and if i don't i'll chuck it out and then this is i don't know what this is oh 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 i think i might chuck that out looks a bit manky chuck and then this i actually got given this um it's the Gigi Hadid Maybelline New York. Oh, please ignore that um, black mark in it. Basically, I went to Nathan's house um, like sometime last year and I forgot mascara. So I tried to make a mascara with the black eyeshadow that's in this and Vaseline. It worked, but it wasn't brilliant. So please ignore. I might keep this because that highlighter there is honestly... You can't really see it because of my rubbish iPad quality, but you can sort of see it. It is so nice. You don't need a lot of... Oh, I've just got it on my clean trousers because my stupid brain writes on my blooming trousers. Anyway, so I'm going to keep that because I really like the highlighter from it. So that's literally... Just, so that's literally all that's in there. And then this is when... So um in here i actually got given this as well it's the lime by the way the stuff that i got given hasn't been used so i don't think oh because <laughs> they're not used um so this is the lime crime venus palette and i really like it um it's got really nice shades in it and i use this pretty much every time i do a makeup look so 
definitely keeping that. And then this is a Barry M Red Carpet Ready Eyeshadow Palette with Primer. Now, I might chuck this out because, number one, the primer is a little bit broken and I don't use this. So, oh, but they've got really good shades in it, like shades that I've never used. So, I don't know. I don't know. Do I keep it? Or do... I'll put it there and I'll think about it. And then here I've got the NYX... Um, Smoky and highlight, smoky. Oh, well, that's in French or whatever language that is. But I can't, I can never open it there. So, quite nice shades. I mean, it looks a bit manky because I've used the brown and the shimmers quite a lot. But I'm going to keep this because I still use the eyeshadow palette. So, and then this now, before I open this up, please, please ignore the fact that the brown. The brown eyeshadows look a bit manky. It's because um, before I brought, before I had a job and before I had money when I was broke, um, I literally had no money at all. So I couldn't buy my own pomade. And I tried making my own pomade by spraying rose water into the brown mixing the browns together to make a brow pomade um so let's just ignore that but apart from that the shades along here are really nice that i actually use so i'm keeping that and then this oh my god i love this palette so it's the revolution mermaid forever palette and let me tell you look at them shades ignore the brown but so i'm keeping that so I might chuck out that Barry M one because it's a bit, um, even though I haven't used like any of the other shades in it, I might just have to chuck it out purely because I can't really see much life in that anymore. And then this is the big drawer. So this is going to probably take up like a long time. So, you know, it's got other random junk in it as well, like a hair dye brush. Um... So this is the big drawer. I'm gonna go for it because honestly I need to. Like now's the perfect time. So this is my foundation that I use like whenever I do makeup. I, I think I, I got this from Super Drag. I can't remember if it was if it was from Horsham or Brighton, but it's good. I think this was like it's Rimmel London Match Perfection in the shade 10 Light Porcelain. Um I don't know if I'm pretty normally their foundations are like seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine. Um so I don't actually know how much this was, but I'm definitely keeping that not I mean like I've hardly used it. Like you can tell like I've hardly used it. And then this is my MUA Pro Base uh long wear matte finish foundation. Oh, this one is more like a, a demi matte. I wouldn't say it's um full coverage because i feel like it's demi matte more um and then this is the MUA makeup academy pro base foundation um in the shade hashtag 164 now i use this when i'm tanned or like when i fake tan um and it has like i don't like this applicator personally but it is fine and this is so so this is definitely full coverage this is more demi matte this is definitely full coverage um, you don't need a lot of this at all. Um, just a little bit and your face is full. If you put too much... I mean, it's pretty much the same with every foundation. But if you put too much on it, it can look cakey. I should have said that to myself when I was in, like, year eight. Um, and then here I've got this uh, Freedom Professional London Pro Highlight Highlighter. Now, I do use this because it's in the shade Diffused. I think this is like two pound at most, maybe three, but I do still use this, but not much. And then this one is my MUA Undressful Skin Highlighter in the shade Iridescent Gold. Um, you can tell I use this, but the lid is a bit whoop, broken, but it's still usable. I feel like I'm getting smaller. If I shuffle up, <laughs> um, so. 
keeping these two um and then here i've got a the mua makeup academy volume high impact why is it in there why it should be in where my other mascaras are but it looks really dry and it doesn't look like it can do much so i'm gonna chuck that out and then here i oh my god it's messy as hell but here i've got the revolution i actually got this from beauty bay i'm pretty sure it was like four pound I think I'm in need of a new one though because I've hit pan on the powder, I've hit pan on them too and I only use that when I'm tanned, which you can tell is very rarely. Um, so I might need to buy another concealer before that one like runs out completely. And then this is also by Makeup Revolution that I also got from Beauty Bay. It's a colour corrector kit. You can tell I don't really use it often. I only use it if my blemishes and like breakouts are really bad, but it's a good little palette so keeping that um what else is, oh yeah my stay matte foundation powder it's not stay matte foundation i've hit pan on it so i need to get another one why did that why does that smell weird and this is in the shade 003 peach glow now i'm literally just exposing how pale i am at the moment, I'm a little bit tanned on my chest, but my face is just not even there anymore. Um, I've got blooming earrings in here. Is that my broken eyelash curler or my new one? Uh, this is my eyelash curler from Primark. I've lost, oh my God, they've all messed up and gone everywhere. These are my individual eyelashes, but they've rolled around and oh my god what has actually happened to them they've gone all like mangled what the hell they've moved i got these from primark they're a pound and i think you get like 15 pairs in there maybe more i can't remember but it was a lot and then oh my god i found a set of it i found a pair of earrings it's very rare that I actually find, like, both earrings, like. And then here I've got, oh, this is a lip liner. I don't ever use lip liner at all, so I'm chucking that out because I don't use lip liner. Um, so I'll just get them all out just so you can see. Oh, there's the lid that goes with the other end of that. So here I've got little Kylie Jenner lip sticks have i ever worn these probably like twice um will i ever wear these probably but they're just like i think this these came in like the birthday collection um oh they have shade names so this one is in the shade angel this one is in the shade ginger this one is in the shade love bite I don't know if I'd ever wear that though because that's so dark. And I, I don't think I'd wear ginger either. Um, this one is in the shade Kristen. That's a really nice colour but I don't think it will suit me at all. And this one is in the shade Moon. So I think I'm going to keep... I think I'm going to keep them because they're Kylie Jenner lip sticks. And I will probably never be able to get them again um and then next i have these two nyx lingerie matte lipsticks these the kylie jenner these are also matte as well um but i don't know see this is the one i normally wear because it's slightly lighter like dark colors like dark lips and like dark eyeshadow don't really look good on me at all purely because i just feel like i don't suit dark makeup um but do they have shade names yes they do so this one is in the shade lace detail double l03 so this is the one that i normally wear if i if if i was to wear lipstick which isn't often and then this one is in the shade push up double l06 so yeah so that's my lipsticks and then here i've just got some I've just got this lip balm. This one's from Primark and it's manky. Um, this one is a W7 High Shine Lip Gloss. Number 7, not W7. And is there a shade name on it? Oh yeah, Sparkling Rose. I would probably wear this because it's really, really nice. Um, 
and it's got a really nice shimmer i do wear this sometimes i haven't worn makeup in ages though I, that's a lie i wore makeup on monday um, but apart from that like i haven't really i don't i haven't worn makeup like much at all and then i love this lip balm so this is a nivea cherry shine lip balm what i really like about this as well is that it's slightly pigmented so you can actually like oh my god this is a half an hour long video i'm so sorry so so sorry anyway and this is my little contour thing i'm only gonna keep it because that bronzer is so good and i'm so i don't use the blush i don't wear blush so i might keep that i'm meant to be chucking stuff out not keeping it all and then this is a rimble london blush i'm chucking that because i will never ever use that and then here my friend izzy got me this is a the anastasia beverly hills dip brow gel in the shade taupe so i'm keeping that 100 percent. no way am i checking that out and then here i've just got some like beauty blenders that i got from primark um lip liner chuck that out so i don't actually an empty eyelash box chuck that out and then this is my eyebrow pomade it is the i mean like you can't actually see it on the front but it's the revolution eyebrow pomade in the shade dark brown i'm keeping that i've got a little bracelet from menorca love that and then i've got a lip balm which looks a bit frazzled and it's got ink all over it because it was in my blazer pocket and my pen exploded oh my god i love this so this is my lush bubblegum lip scrub i love this stuff i'm surprised i haven't gone through it but i actually love it so so much mm. and you can like lick it up. oh my god it's rolled down my blimmin sleeve oh my god i love this you can lick it off so nice it's bubble gum if i could eat the pot i would they do loads as well they do um they do cookie dough plum fairy mint chocolate they, they do others as well but bubble gum is on like top of my list this is actually ridiculous like you probably can't even see it but look at all of that oh my god my blimmin so <laughs> that's funny so on my ipad i've got a smart connector which are like the three dots at the side of the ipad and my earring just like got stuck to it because it's magnetic so this is my um hair dye brush that i haven't used in blimmin age I, this is a new one actually i don't think i've ever actually used this one i don't think i have and then next i've got a nail filer that looks a bit rugged so i'm gonna chuck that out pencil sharpener don't know what i'd use that for in makeup perspective because i've already got like 10 pencil sharpeners and then this is a lip balm which i use on the daily actually so i'm keeping that one so that's literally everything i mean like i didn't really chuck out much if i'm being completely honest but at the same time i did chuck out some makeup um before so that's like all the old makeup in here um so i'm just gonna check okay then um so so i think that pretty much wraps it up for this video so let me just quickly chuck all this stuff in here when i say chuck i mean like just chuck it all in there. So now I need to carry this like big heavy drawers back to upstairs. I can't I can't get the drawer in. So that pretty much wraps up for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos and comment on what you want to see from me and Nathan next. Um it's Nathan's birthday in like five weeks, so I don't know if there's going to be a video for that. There probably will be, um, but keep your eyes peeled. So, 
again i'll put the link in the description for these makeup brushes the real technique ones and the revolution ones and these drawers if i can find them if i can't then like i said ignore what i said about putting the link in the description for the drawers but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed the video please like subscribe for more videos and have a good day